Okay everyone, Shannon here. First off, let me apologize because this episode is a bit late. Now, the series, um, last episode we left off, we had the disc we found from the Dr. Sakaki. And now we're going to have to hand, hand it over to him because all of the quests are done. Now, minutes there's no sound. The thing is, the first time I record this and I only record this once, the first minute I didn't realize the other was off. So, for the next 20 seconds or so, there is still no audio, this, was rec this audio right now is recorded afterwards. But don't worry, just a couple more seconds of the cinematic and uh, I'll have the audio back up. I'll also put all the other episodes on hold. So basically what he's telling us is that he wants us to do the task. Now let me just leave you to the original audio. Okay, but mind the personal space. If I recall, you've just been promoted to leader, haven't you? Congratulations. Yeah, you're the last to thank me. Congratulate me, actually. No. Wait, why, why, why did I not? Yes! That means I've saw, I've saw the disc and I'm emitting it. And Soma, who was I don't know anything behind. about it. Again, like personal space. No, I don't like the guy. He's not supposed to be special. I'm supposed to be special. Now get off me. Okay, so whatever the mission is... Let's bring... Ah, damn it. Why can't I bring anyone who I want, really want to? Cannon, which is horrible, and let's see body. That's not coming. Ambition, ambitionist, sniper. Okay. Guess I'm taking these random guys. Uh. Yeah, that's useless advice. Oh, wait. I mean, I have to go to downstairs. Okay, in case you're wondering, I already knew what kind of gear I was supposed to bring because I've done this scene like four times since this keeps crashing for some reason. In different parts. Now, I really hate Cannon and Gina, mainly Cannon because she's the other doctor I use sometimes and never goes well with her. Never. Now, let's see, we have a Borg Kamlam and Vajura. Search for the enemy. Let's see if I, can, if I if we can find the guy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we found the Bork Gilem. And also the Vajira. I think we're gonna take out the Bork Gilem first. It should be the easiest one to kill. Yeah. Don't tell me I have the all out attack or whatever. I don't know what you think about that over, over all out attack. It's kind of annoying because I keep running out of stamina, but if it does increase my damage considerably, then I guess it's okay. Yeah. Oh crap, the video is here. And another semi again. Uh, 
Wait, what I'm missing? No, I guess I have what I need. This is four, freeze, freeze, freeze. Okay. Well, these seem to be effective. The reason why I like to jump is because the knockback significantly reduces the timer of resetting, so I can shoot faster if I do this. Ah, damn this stamina. Actually, I should probably manage to get away with that. I was for sure going to be hit. Head on. The sword isn't really that good. You could, you could hear from the other guy's advice that get, if I'm good with it, it'll be okay, but... It's really awful when you can... Ah, damn it. When you compare it to my gun. Yeah. That's gonna... That's why I'm gonna see if I can stick to the gun. Maybe hit him where it hurts the most. Which I guess is on that thing that's supposed to be his face. As long as they don't get in front of me. Is he dead or... Okay, just knock back, knock down. If I'm, if I'm more correct, I can still break both his tail and his front legs. As for the Vajira, I can break the horns and not sure what else. Okay, I guess I'll leave that guy alone for a while now. I don't think I don't think they regenerate health in Garis's burst. And even if they do, it'll probably be not much. Recovery bullet. That's that's the new thing. I think that's the second recovery bullet you've shot me so far with. Don't. don't. Okay, shoot yourself. That's a dead end. So, guess I can take a bite off you. Yep. Why am I defending? Oh, now I remember. Bullet, 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 bullet. Oh, there he is. Eh, I'm gonna go after the Borgalam now. The quicker I can get rid of this guy, the quicker we can get this over with. The best of would actually be just fight one at a time, but I really don't have the patience to wait for them to get split. And I don't think there's really... I, I had, once where I had to fight three guys, I tried to split them up. And it really wasn't that successful. The best way to split them up requires us to split it up, and I don't really want to fight if I don't have a healer and a couple of guys to distract them. Ouch! Well, that really hurt!
Guess I'm missing just his legs now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, mother of gods, no. What? <laughs> I really think it's kind of impossible to not succeed in the mission here. I mean, unless you're really bad with terrible gear and lose all your time and end up running out of time, I think the number of times you can faint is pretty damn high. I don't think there's even a limit for the time they can faint. I think the um, no, the help the guys give you that's unlimited. And sorry, it's my first time. I don't, I don't even bother with this. I mean, it gives me a little bit, a little bad rank score, but it's not the worst thing. And since it weren't enough, all of you can faint like this, no matter how many times you want. The other guys will still resurrect each other. And I haven't really tried having all guys faint it at once. But I still think you'll be able to resurrect uh, once or twice. Yeah. This has really a long range. Yeah, he's fully broken now. And I'm tired again. If only Alyssa were here. If only Alyssa. She already have given me god knows how many comrade bullets. Team bullets actually. And we had this long over. Hey, get out of there. That room's too tiny for two origamis and four people. Don't come after me, don't come after me, don't come after me. Okay. Come on, die already. This weapon really sucks. I mean, look at the number of times I've already slashed this guy. If this were a decent weapon, he would already have been dead. And finally he's dead. Now where's the... Here he is. And... Piercing needle. Oh wait, six more. This is why I like to shoot him hanging, otherwise I have to do this whole animation. Uh, ah, come on, that's not what I wanted to do. Right, let's, let's chase this guy. As always, take a bite of him and then hit him in the face. And I turn again. No, I really should investigate a little bit, a bit more. I mean, I know so much about Gladiator's Burst that I know absolutely nothing at all. I don't even know what Burst Mode does to the gun itself. 
I know the sword increases the damage, and in my case, I haven't having a. The reason why I'm not even using the gun, the gun in here, is because I can shoot the uh, Aragami bullets without burst form, but burst form is better used for the melee attacks. So um, I think the gun's damage doesn't really get changed in burst form. But in this case, it actually gets reduced because of my parts, whatever, that it increases blade attack while in burst and decreases gun attack. So even if it were already better, it's even better with this. Just use the gun. And now I'm out of burst form. Oh, was that here, please? Whoa! Oh, I stunned him. Ah, my aim really bad. Hello there. Yeah, this gun does a lot more damage than the sword. No idea what that what just was. Okay, and we're done here. Just gonna go ahead and skip this 30 seconds. Okay, let's go back to base. Yeah, probably free faints, free incapacitations. Still a record. Now let's just save. Now let's see if I got something else to do now. Okay, Doctor Ross stalked me again. Well, sorry to keep summoning you, but I have a. Ah, <laughs> oh, get off me! <laughs> No, I don't like her. And there's no need to worry about mustering any more troops. I've done some contriving to make this seem like a routine mission. That's all for me. I'm looking forward to the results. I mean, what's the difference between this and the normal missions? We could have just put it downstairs and I would have done it there anyways. Now then, I must go and prepare to receive my guests. That's weird. Uh, let's just see what the mission is. I'm gonna put it in this episode. I just hope it doesn't take too long. Whoa, the difficulty 5. Fajira and Shio and Blaze Weapon. This is almost my A team. My A team has not Koda but Soma. Gonna leave the gun behind, just gonna change the sword, and everything else is okay. Except for the supplies. And lastly, the rest of me is just get rid of all these materials so you don't take up room. Okay, and let's head out. Hello there! Wait, not ice. Fire. If I'm not mistaken, the Vajir is weak to almost everything. Hey! Man, this guy's really violent? What the heck? This guy's like twice as strong as the other one. Where's the rest of my team? Wait, we're split. At least I'm with Sakuya. It's really the only one I want on my team. Oh no, wait, wait, I prefer Alyssa. Ah, Alyssa won't give me the bullets I need. What? What? 
Wait, he, did he hop upstairs? Come at me. No, leave the doctor alone. I don't remember ever seeing a Vajira take a bite off something. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, this Vajira is just weird. Could be that the difficulty is up, so this one's stronger, but... I mean, just the movement stuff sounds, looks a bit weird. I'm not doing any of his regular attacks. You know the whole thunder thingies? This one just... Oh, there's a thunder attack. He's mostly just taking bites and chunks off of me with his claws. What? I think I'm listening. I think I can hear the guys upstairs fighting. Yeah, I just heard Koma get hurt. Just hear Koma get hurt. Kota get hurt, and yeah. I can see his health bar go down. Oh, thank you. These are the these are the best bullets. The ones where I'm about to faint and just save me. No, let's go help the others before they faint. Not faint, become incapacitated. Whoa. Okay, cut this done. Ah, now this is more like it. Ah, I'm so glad I'm near Alyssa now. No, let's just hope I don't faint and lose the whole... Oh, the whole charges. I forget what this guy's weak spot was. I think it's crush attacks the upper body or... and sort to down to the lower body. Whoa! Well, there was one hell of a big boom. Ah! You shot the ground, Alyssa! Not... One more, okay. What? He just. He, I think he predicted where I was going. No, if I want to fight you with this. Yeah, this guy's really weak to thunder attacks in the legs. Boom! Explosive torpedo! <laughs> okay, this guy's not far. Now this is a decent weapon, not that lame sword I was using in the last, uh, last mission. This one actually has... Probably twice as the, the damage it one had. Dodge roll, do a barrel roll, do a barrel roll. Ouch!
Okay, now just keep away from me. And now this guy's enraged. Okay, let's start fighting for you. Whoa, that was so like a rifleless. And now I'm waiting. And now I'm waiting again. Damn combos. I just, I already forgot about the lock on. Let's forget about it. To use the freestyle monster hunter to use the lock on. There's actually a skill that gives me lock on on the gun. Now that's actually something useful. But it won't be that useful if you have to shoot to where he's going to be and not where he is. But it still saves you a lot of time. Come on, just get... Okay, I think I'm gonna shoot a bit and use just this stun grenade. Just cause I want everyone to take a bite off him and I can get stronger and burst form. What? There wasn't even enough, there wasn't even enough time to take a bite. Okay, have it your way, I'll just have to shoot you till you're down. Ah, oh, close call there. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yes. Whoa! I think it was just waiting for me to get by right Triple stagger? Quadruple stagger? Ah, miss. Okay. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. Too late. Yeah, no, I can't shoot a bullet. My guess is this guy's already gonna be very weak. What? Do people are incapacitated? When did Cody get incapacitated? Not, not like I need him to finish the quest, but still. Wait, Alice is incapacitated. Never mind. I'm gonna re. There goes whatever l life I had left. And Oregon bullets. Oh, safe. Thank you, whoever it was. Come on. Come on, I know you want to die. My guess is you're gonna be dead within the next 30 seconds. Let's see... 25 seconds... Twenty seconds... Come on, my... 
my premonition can't be wrong. 15? Okay. Yeah, told you. Okay, let me just skip this part as well. Okay, we're done here. Let's go back to base now. Oh, there's Kodo. Ah, can't see him. Just saw him on the minimap. We left him behind. No big loss. Okay, this cinematic and then it's over. What? Something's fishy. Where are you supposed to be receiving guests? Oh, guests are coming now. It's coming. Here they are. Oh, crap. Oh god, he's feeding on them. Uh, <coughs> I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> shoot it, shoot it fast. Well now, good to see you. So you finally decided to show yourself. Soma, thank you for bringing her here. I can be with her now, thanks to you. Who would want to be with that? But how about an explanation? Yeah, I think we deserve one. Well, since she was being stubborn about not showing up, I eradicated what she's been feeding on in this area. Even the pickiest of eaters can't ignore the pangs of hunger, right? Man, your sneakiness at least has no fear. That's for sure. It's funny. <laughs> what? Um, what did you just say? Um, I'll say it as many times as necessary. This is an origami. What? what? Now, now. Kill it before now. it lays eggs. You're the only one that doesn't know, Coda. Seems to be directed at other origami of a higher order. We humans don't even fall to the category of food, as far as she's concerned. That's good to it's know. It's a common misperception. Origami aren't born with characteristics of other life forms. Rather, they evolve at a breakneck pace through devouring. As a result of that, their diverse evolutionary potential is condensed into a very short period of time. And that's what makes an origami what it is. You mean this child? I don't, I don't get it. Right. Just like humankind, they temporarily got stuck in a dead end in their process of evolution. She's an origami evolving, much like a human. A human-like origami, you mean? Yes. Based on an examination Wait. I conducted earlier, the equivalent of her cranial nerves and synapses seem to be functioning exactly like a human brain. Clearly, she's got an incredible capacity to learn. Quite an intriguing specimen. And she's good as well, but the thing yes, is, so there's, they supposedly become what they eat. Would if they eat a tank, they become a tank, so if this one becomes human, that, mean, that means it ate humans. Exactly what does she mean when she says food? Or I'm ready to eat. Food! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the bias of an origami basically dictates that it will not partake of any being similar to itself. 
That said, in times of dire hunger, just now for instance, she's likely to go oh. anything, no matter how unpleasant it may taste. Yeah. But that's an exception to the rule. As you know, Aragami is just a nickname. But there have been examples of multiple entities adopting the design of what we humans envision as the gods. These have been spotted worldwide. What thought process led them to adopt such a mode of life? By what process did they come to worship gods? Don't you find that intriguing? And yeah, as long as they don't extinct us. Completely assumed a human form is an even rarer case, you see. Oh, but I digress. Well, I think that should do it for this study group. One last thing. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to keep this a secret just between us. I think there would be better. They might be alright if this gets leaked out. We'll have to report it to the advisor and the director. Sakuya, you're an exalted god eater and protector of humankind, and yet you intend to tell your superiors that I smuggled an Aragami oh. into the den? <laughs> the headquarters at the battlefront? Well, no. But why exactly did you do it? Didn't I tell you before? Because she's a valuable sample. She's merely the subject of an important personal research project. That's all. Don't worry. I made sure this room had its own communications infrastructure and security system. It's not linked to the other sections. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone prying needlessly into your private affairs either, would you? That's it. Oh, and by the way, you and I are already accomplices in all this. Ready to eat! I'd like you to be your friend. You too, Soma. Please, look out for her. Don't be ridiculous. She may be good at imitating humans, but she's still a monster. Look who's talking. You're probably the most monstrous of all. Oh, he made her sad. Now then, will the human turn into a god? Or a god into a human? <laughs> Okay guys, that's that's it for this episode. See ya.